welcome back to our channel. Today's video is kind of a weird one, but it's something that I really wanted to document. This is my childhood teddy bear. I have had it since I was 8 years old, and I will be 26 next month, so that's 18 years. But that's not the reason why we're here. The reason why we're here is because he hasn't been washed since I was 13. First of all, disgusting. Second of all, that's 13 years that he hasn't been washed. So, the video today is going to be me washing this bear for the first time in 13 years. And we're going to see how completely disgusting this bear is. Okay, so just to give a quick overview of how disgusting this bear is. This is what he looks like. As you guys can see, this poor guy has been through it. And I know you guys are probably thinking, like, you're 26, you're married, you have two kids, like, why are you sleeping with a bear? But it's just been in my life for so long. It's one of those things that's like a security blanket for me. I really want to get him back to looking way less creepy. <laughs> we are going to clean him. We're going to get him looking good again. Isn't that right? Little teddy bear. Oh my god, this is getting creepy. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. Um, I have some foam cleaner. It's just um, carpet and upholstery cleaner. I heard this is a really good way to um, get things clean that can't really go in the washer because you don't want to get the inside of the stuffed animal wet. So, I'm gonna use this. An old toothbrush. And some clean rags to blot the stuffed animal dry. Oh man, I'm really nervous to do this. <laughs> if I mess this bear up, you guys, you're gonna see me have a mental breakdown. Also, if you can hear my kids, they're outside the door, so yeah. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit at first. Okay, so it says to take it and rub it in really small circular patches. Oh my god, I'm scared. It's said to just like put your fingernails kind of down into it. I'm so nervous, you guys. This bear literally was, and well, it's not my everything now, but I can't sleep without it. I've tried, and I mean, I get through the night, but like, I don't sleep that well without it. And I guess it's just because it's like, you know... I've gotten so used to it being under my arm that when it's not there, I'm, like, uncomfortable. I don't know. Oh my god, this is going to be a long process, you guys. It already smells better, though. Okay, I think I'm going to take the toothbrush now. rag and like massage and see if any dirt comes up oh yeah there's some dirt ew do you guys see gross okay i feel like this is gonna take like quite a few times with the foam maybe i'll work up here oh disgusting okay I'm gonna work up here on the top. Yeah, there's definitely dirt coming up, but it's like not as, it's not getting as clean as I'd hoped. I'm 
like slowly but surely getting some of the mat out of his fur. I feel like maybe I need to wet like one of these rags though. Just like help the foam a little bit. Maybe? I don't know. I think I'm going to try using the bristles that come on this. Now let's see what comes off. These are some really set in stains. And dirt. Ugh. Gross. I can't believe I've been sleeping with this by my face for 13 years like this. <laughs> and I'm sure I'll get questions, but no, my husband does not care. Um, I had this bear whenever we started dating. I slept with it then. I still sleep with it now. Um... I don't know if I'll ever not sleep with it. Maybe one day. Um, but I mean, yeah. My husband doesn't care. Or if he does care, he just doesn't tell me because he knows that it's kind of my security blanket. So, it's starting to look a little better. And like the most disgusting thing, gross. So gross. Still do feel like I need to like wet one of these rags maybe after i'm done i will go through with like a very lightly damp um rag and just make sure all that cleaning stuff is off of it too because i don't want that by my face either you can tell where my face always is because of this like patch of dirt because for the longest time i didn't wash my face whenever i went to bed so it's probably just makeup that's caked on there. And again, I'm gonna go in with the little brush that comes with this and see if that helps. I really think some of these stains just aren't gonna come out. Like after 13 years, might not come out you know okay my camera stopped recording um i don't know where it left off or anything but basically i was saying the reason why this bear is so important to me was because it was kind of my comfort through a lot of really traumatic times in my childhood and then it just became something that i was used to having with me when i went to sleep and Surprisingly, talking to a lot of other adults, I'm not the only one that, that like sleeps with something, you know, like from their childhood. Um, people have told me they still sleep with their baby blanket or, you know, a stuffed animal. So, you know, it's not all that uncommon. I'm sure I'll get questions too, asking if I ever got made fun of for it. Um, not really. I mean, I had friends who would kind of tease me about it, but not in, like, a malicious way. Like, it was, you know, oh, where's Ashley's bear? Like, something like that, you know? Um, and when friends would come over and they were, like, new friends, I would kind of make it a point to not have it with me. Or, you know, I'd try to wait until they were asleep at night to grab it and cuddle up with it. Um... If they were sleeping over just because I didn't want to get made fun of but every friend that I had was very understanding and didn't really care you guys can tell me in the comments what your little comfort item is if you have one This bear is 18 years old and it hasn't been washed in 13 years. So the likelihood that it's gonna look brand new is very slim. But I just wanted to get it a little more clean because like I said, it is something I sleep with every night and it's by my face all the time. And 
I just started to realize that maybe the acne and breakouts that I had on my chin were due to this nasty bear. So that's why we're doing this today. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put like paint his eyes back on. I can't even remember what they looked like honestly, but let me know if you think I should paint his eyes back on or if I should just keep him his authentic self. <laughs> Another thing I'm sure I'll get asked is, do the girls try to take this bear? Um, yes and no. They will grab it, like if they're in our bed. Um, they'll grab it up and cuddle with it, and that's fine. Um, I think it's really cute, actually. Um, but at the end of the day, they know, like, okay, this is mom's bear. Which is kind of funny, <laughs> because they'll hand it to me. Um when we're going to bed I'll say here mom here's your bear <laughs> so it's really cute I can't even tell if this looks any cleaner or not <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at like the before and afters after we get done and like I said I'm fully expecting this not to get all the way clean um it's a very very old bear and this is very very set in dirt so he may just be forever frumpy looking but that's okay it shows his age and what he's been through so just gonna show you guys what i got off the bear so far that is seriously so disturbing that i've been putting that by my face every night for the past 13 years <laughs> please don't judge me you guys the rest of my house is very clean this bear is just very fragile and i was terrified to clean him so i think at this point i've cleaned kind of the major areas so i'm gonna go wet a wash rag and go over it with water okay so i'm back and i went Got a wet rag, and I'm just going to go over and see if I can pick up any more of the dirt. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely bringing up a lot more of the dirt without getting it too wet. This is good. Oh, wow. Yeah, the wet rag's bringing up a lot more of that dirt. And it's kind of fluffing the fur a bit more, too. I really feel like using this wet rag is getting a lot more up than just using the dry one. I mean, that's all coming up from just the back of his head. I'm just going through now, um, again with the foam cleaner, trying to get up as much of this junk as possible. And it is working. Okay hey guys, so my camera battery died and the sun is starting to go down, so I had to bring out my little light, but I wanted to show you guys all the way through to the end of this little cleaning project. So I got this little comb, it's got like really fine teeth and like this pig at the end, um, and I've just been going through and kind of like pulling the fur up a little bit because it was pretty matted. Um, so I've been trying to do that and work out some of the really stuck on gunk and it's working pretty well. Um, so yeah, I've just been going through like this and kind of massaging the brush in, not really combing it as much as I'm just kind of like picking at it, but I can definitely see that like a lot of the dirt is going to stay on there unfortunately um but 
It's kind of what I expected with a bear this old. It's much cleaner than it was when I started and that's really what matters. Now I'm just going back through and kind of drying him as much as I can. I'm really rubbing the rest of that dirt out. Oh yeah, definitely getting a lot of that dirt up now. <laughs> I think I've gotten as much dirt out as I possibly can. And I'm pretty happy with how much came up. Okay guys, so this is the final result. He is back to life, you guys. Because I know people are going to want to see this. So this is the wet rag. This is the dry rag. This one's the most disgusting, I think. Like that makes me want to puke <laughs> and it's on both sides so that is how dirty this bear was okay guys so that was the video i hope you enjoyed it um i hope it was interesting or satisfying it was definitely satisfying to me to see this bear get clean after 13 years of not being cleaned at all bye